Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, if you haven't already, give us a little like and a little subscribe for this Audi RS4. It deserves it. It really does. This RS4 is absolutely beautiful. So, you've all seen. I've been fighting, been fighting uh, the rear brake pipes. So look at that beauty, that beauty. So we've got these new calipers. Um, we've put our clips back in. We didn't film that, guys, but they are in there. So there's a little horseshoe clips. They're all in there. Um, we will brake clean all this, and I will hook those brake those little. Uh, sensor wires in there and I do need to hook up the, the brake cable still so I've just put the wheels on because I'm going to set the car down in the ground um, so yeah but obviously I do need to hook those brake uh, cables up but I'm going to pump the brakes, the brakes are all bled, I have bled them um, I did that off cam because it's very noisy with the compressor going and the air bleeder going so um, and you can see that one there, you can see the pipe, the pipe's fine, I'm the only pipe so I just elected to, I had to take it right forward, eventually I did get it to slacken um, but I ended up just turning it for the flexi because you just couldn't turn that and that was just destroying itself so we chopped it, flared it in place um, with a little, e, you know, little inboard tools you use for these things so if we're doing the brake pipes in, in the situ um, it's not a fun job, man, eh? Not a fun job at all. So, I managed to have a find a wee clamp we had lying about there. It's missing a couple of clamps. Um, so, these aren't they meant to be. They're meant to be on that side, but we just put them in here. Some of them have lost the tension, but that one, I had to cut that one off, actually. Same with these. I lost the tension a little bit, but they're in there. They're actually meant to be on this side, but... And these are uh, Hell... Uh, so, Hell Brick Flexi Hoses. I've, I've never heard of them, so... Um, so I uh, will cable tie that onto there as well, just to keep it well away if it should never come into contact with the wheel. I don't think, I don't think it could reach the wheel, but um, you never know with the suspension. I don't know, but I don't think so. But just take any chances. I mean, we've got one a little bit actually. Uh, it looks a bit crooked, though. So I uh, new calipers, new pads, and this, uh, the sensor wires, and as you can see in up there, oh, look at that quality, man! Look at that quality. You know, the little tabs are still there and everything. Um, so I same up that side, put the brake pad sensor wire in. So yeah, so I we know a big deal. It's um been well looked after. So we did these front P's and D's as well, and I'm gonna need to have a little play about with these actually again because the brake pad sensing light um is still on. So and it was these. That were rotted off, so I don't know if it's these plugs and maybe just too much resistance or whatever. Um, they can be quite sensitive, these, but uh, hopefully, it's no issues there. Hopefully, hopefully, not. So, right, okie doke. I think we'll get the big girl down now. Um, yeah, I think we'll get the big girl down and see if we're getting her fired up. She's not been fired up in a while. So yeah, stay tuned. What a machine. Yeah, this one. Yeah, this is the machine. So this is the, the beautiful RS4. Uh, registered in the year 2000 in the UK. Um, and it's been living in Scotland for a, a good few years. It's last MLT on the road was 2014. Um, so you can see yes, there's a tax disc on it, so we don't even get those anymore. So 2015 for the tax disc here, so yeah, she's all original, you know, earned some tyres, um, earned some tyres and a mill tech on it, um, which is pretty common, we're going to need to place exhaust in this country, but it is absolutely stunning. Um, I think it may be for sale, um, sadly it's not my car, um, I don't know what the value of it would be, um, I think it's need a bit of TLC on the bodywork, just it, there's only one little uh, bit on it and it's just this rear arch around here I'll show you um, and for Scotland to be honest with you I'm absolutely amazed that that is all there is so there's some bubbling around these arches here so that's all going to want seen to so that'll all need taken back treated um, and there's tough steel these um, so all need taken back and treated but the rest of the car is absolutely stunning man there's absolutely not a mark on it um, you know Things and scratches. It doesn't. There's no many. I don't see anything. Um, so there's no PDR work required on it. 
you know. Um, I mean, it's been in this garage for a good few weeks now, so it does need a good old clean, and it's been in another garage, been stored for however many years. Um, this car wouldn't be here if the gentleman hadn't done that. If this car was running its whole life in Scotland, um, it certainly wouldn't be here. So, and then there's this magnificent uh, V6 uh, by Turbo. So I, this is um, before the engine before, I think, the V8. Um, it's a good engine, it is a good engine. Mm, I'm not sure of any, any things that would go wrong with them, to be honest with you, if you look after them. Mm, the same as all kind of Audi engines, they're, they're pretty reliable if you look after them. Same as Mercedes ones as well, if you look after those, the ones that Mercedes actually build, they're pretty decent. Um, pretty decent stuff, you know. But yeah, this Audi's absolutely stunning, isn't it? So, um, it come from the Lomond Audi group, which is where I bought my Audi from. Um, I think it's now Lucas Audi. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Big girl. Just a big girl. So, we'll see if she fires up. We'll see. So, I'll take these monkey gloves off. And yeah, we'll see if we can get in this big girl. And see. Just be careful with it. Right, so. You can see there on the dash. Uh, 33,363 miles. And you can probably see the first time the battery was put on it, 26 of the 6th year 2000. Um, so, it has been sat here for a while. It has a manual as well. Obviously, we're not going to touch this handbrake. It does have. Don't get that in these now. Don't get that in these. There's a little button down here. Um, so, we'll turn. Uh, the seating off. How do you do it back in the back in the day? Back in the day, this is how you did it. Back in the day, you had buttons. Um, so I six-speed manual V6 turbo. Let's see what she does. Oh, aye. oh she's good. Maybe I'll be some squeaking under there actually, but I want to investigate that. Bear in mind, it has been off the road for a long, long time. It's more probably on a cold start at the minute, it's uh, summertime in Scotland, so about 12 degrees here. So I want well, to come down and on that uh, little idle come down and see what she sounds like. Um, and then when my glamour's assistant's back in on Monday, we'll get the, get somebody sitting in the vehicle. Um, we'll also get the big hotel on it as well and we'll just make sure. Um, we'll just check that actually that light is relating to them. I reckon it will be. These were the two that were all rotten, uh, both sides, you can see it on the pins there. Um, a little bit on the rear, but nothing to write home about. Um, so you can hear the idle starting to come back down on it now. So we've been spoiled this week, we've got a beautiful rangey bank, it's got a DPF issue this time. Um, so, and a sad, sad range over this one, sad one. So I've uh, been spoiled this week with this one. Absolutely stunning, so yeah, a lot of warm up a bit. A lot of warm up. We'll have a little coaster. Have a little coaster while we're admiring this beauty. So we'll get the big hotel on it um, on Monday probably. Um, see if we can take care of that light. Uh, it might just be that there's code stored in it. I don't think that'll be the case, but I think it's most probably um, something to do with those wires. So probably something to do with those wires. So it's sitting with about 900 RPMs at the minute. Um, you see it inside the car as well. So I think that's a bit of the boot to be honest with you in there. Uh, but you can see the condition of the car. You can see all the dome uh, framework and stuff like that, all the sills. Obviously there's covers on there but they're still beautiful in there. Still in really good condition as well, it's just really all needing a clean. Same with the seats as well, really good condition. Uh, I mean, if you went through all these and treated it all, you know, put a wee dent in there. But probably some hot steam or something. Some Just put some of the, the good. The good leather cleaners and the, the, the lotions again them, you can see they have RS4 for a car, so absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning, all black inside, so yeah. Uh, don't know about the colour, I don't know if this is the colour I would have if I was buying it new. Um, I do like the colour, I do like the colour, but black on black for me I think maybe. You know if I was buying a new one, black on black I think. Um, I'm not into red cars to be honest with you, I don't think this one would look good in white, I do like a white car but I think I'd go black on black. So yeah. 
so she's warming up quite nice. Uh, the customer did bring in two backing plates for the car. Yeah, I'm assuming they just assumed that in Scotland they'd be rotted off. Most most of the time they would be, but uh, the ones that were on it were absolutely perfect, so we're not going to bother replacing them. So I, so there you go. So um, she seems to have warmed up a bit now. She's quietened herself down. You know, she was sounding all angry with herself. Um, you know, but she's an autobahn muncher, isn't she? So um, she'd munch up and do the autobahn this thing pretty, pretty, pretty quickly, I reckon. Um, I'm not sure what the top speed on these was. Um, probably limited to 155 being a German car. Um, I'm sure we could fix that. Uh, I'm sure we could fix that, to be honest with you. Um, so, aye. Really, 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 really fast. Uh, really comfortable. Really, really nice estate car, isn't it? Um, well, wagon. I think we call them wagons in America. Across the pond. So you can just see how quiet that engine is. Obviously, we've got an all tech on it. Um, V6 turbo. Yeah, and it is all original. All original. So that little squeak we had there uh, when we started it up could just be the actual rubber on the belt. Could be one of the pulleys itself because it is all original. Um, so yeah, very rare to find a car like this in Scotland. To be honest with you guys. Uh, and just like the headlamps, they would go milky dot. Yeah, if it maybe rotted out, all the cores and all the radiators would be all gone. You know, your oil coolers would be all knackered, you know, a cooler down there, whatever that is, would be all, all rotted. So I definitely, um, it's been saved, I think, this one. Um, so it's a survivor. Um, it's definitely a survivor. So 33,363 genuine miles, Audi RS4. Now that she's warmed up. as well we've got all your Audi Symphony, Quattro and the Dash. So the leather again, I think if you treated all of this, you know, cleaned it all, put the lotions into it, I think these Recaros would come up absolutely stunning. Ah oh, damn it's got a sunroof. Damn it. Well I suppose can't all be great I suppose. Um but nah I don't like sunroof cars too noisy, no need to fit in Scotland so yeah we're gonna call it a day I think now it's um it's twenty past four in the year 2000, so yeah, F only, I'd just be leaving high school. <laughs> so the big RS4, so she's all back together. I've been playing about with it, but I've had <coughs> I've had the bit off in the back here. Yeah, um, I thought I was going to, need to put the hotel in. Uh, hotel, I love my hotel by the way. Right? My hotel Maxis 919 Elite. Uh, bit of pass through there. Look, man, it's an OBD, it's a 16 pinner. But, will that fit? Well, the hell. So that'll not fit in there. see my OBD plug I mean if that plastic was in there that'd fit for sure but it does it is the right type of plug it just doesn't go and I've tried getting the plug out of there I can't get it out so well I know that wee cover's ever been off I don't know I don't know if this has ever had anything plugged into it before so but look this is the quality man so that goes on is that that way does it go that way maybe it goes that way Yep. So that goes on that way, and this little bit, which again probably never been out. So thank God, man, I really did not want to take that apart. I really, you know, what it's like guys. I mean, they're all push clips and screws and stuff, but you take them apart, um, <laughs> and they never seem to be right again. Yeah, you got a lot of rattles and stuff like that. You better be placing all the plastic clippings if you can get them. You get them online. Oh, you know, if you're going to get them for the dealer, you get them online. Um, just pop one off and see if you can match it up. So it's quite cool, eh? It's got its wee uh, engine management symbol there. And that's where that goes. 
back in, we need to recover, cover it up really good. Really good, I like that. That's obviously out of the spare wheel and like condition of the car. So, absolutely spotless. Uh, just the seats are just needing a good treatment, a good clean. Um, yeah, definitely. I see a wheel bit mould there actually. Tiny little bit of head cloth on it, it's like new. No mark on it. No mark on it. A very clean car. <coughs> so. You need to top up the coat on it as well. I'm not sure if there's maybe a, a very slow leak somewhere. Um, coolant is down a little bit, so you can see we've got a little bit here for oh, on old Audis. And there she is, there, man. There she is, there. So, quiet as a mouse. Quiet as a mouse. Yeah, man. She's pretty smooth, like. Very smooth. So you can see it's just done a little tiny bit there. And the phone's ringing. Sorry about that guys, welcome back again to the channel. Again, if you haven't already, please give us a wee subscribe. It's all free for you guys, man. Who doesn't want to see these bad boys? Who doesn't want to see these? Look at that V6 bike turbo. Look at that. Oh, it's quality stuff, man, eh? Then we'll get other Volkswagen group car. You'll be calling my phone. Oh! So the big beauty. She's all done. She just needs a demo D. Oh, I need top of coolant up actually. Uh, do the tire pressures on it also, but yeah, I managed to get that light out. Had to uh, plug that one in and out. Uh, I did clean the two terminals up with some electrical cleaner and a very small wire brush and I just was struggling to get the light out, I just couldn't get it out, so it was that one there that was causing the issue. Um, I just unplugged plugged that in about a million times, it's cleaned the connection up, so she's just needing a good old clean the gavel now. Um, a little bit of TLC on this rear arch, um, but not too bad, not too bad, but it's not a TLC. Oh, I'll be able to take that out of there actually, man. That'd be an expensive mistake, wouldn't it, man? Look at that. Ooh, maxi flash. So, put this back up here. See all the original pads in this there as well. In case the customer wants them. So, let's see, hope this big light is still out. The big old key, so that looks good to me. And the clutch. Oh, lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. So, there you go, I've got the, the light out. Got the light out in that bad boy. Oh, I'll just park it here in it. And I'll speak to the customer and see. I've got a happy cable hooked up now as well, so you're nice. So I, I did leave them off just to have done the bleeding. Uh, didn't I bleed that a couple of times to be honest with you? So I've got a vacuum bleeder um, down there and just some checking the car sitting. I'll let you check your hydraulics, guys. Turn the vehicle off, pump bed up. If it's solid, all good. Start up, should feel a dip. Ah, it's just your servo assistance there, so. Aye, it was all good. That light's going out, so. Aye, beautiful stuff, man. Isn't it? Beautiful stuff, so. Really good condition, this car, so it's just needing a good old clean now. We've seen the tax disc as well for 2014, I think. So, aye, all good now. So, let's see what the range is for just under half a tank, 85 mile, 6.1 mile to the gallon. Eh, 6 mile to the gallon on that one. I could at least get 25 out of this, surely. She's a bit garbage. She's all done anyway.